welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university creative powerpoint presentation templates designed to help you present your best download the templates for free and make wow factor in your presentations you can get all the tutorials from basic to intermediate to advanced level please like share and subscribe my channel powerpoint university to get more stunning powerpoint tutorials every week in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a notebook design animation in powerpoint you can see this is the the cover page of the notebook and when i click it will open and it goes inside this is the first page you can see there are uh, seven pages here from one to seven and there are some details there when I click it will open the page one then it will show you the page two on the right side simultaneously when I click it will open page two it will turn to page three then page four five six and seven then after this you can the, the, the notebook will get closed so let's see how we can create this animation in PowerPoint Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shape, select a top corners rectangle and give the height as 4.7 and width as 6.4 inches and we will rotate it, rotate, rotate right 90 degrees and make it less curved. make it no outline and I'm going to change the background color you give some a uh, gray or light gray color this one I'm just going to change the color to white press ctrl D to duplicate it and give a, a kind of a red color here and increase the size this is the cover page and you can just send this to back press ctrl D to duplicate it and give some different color and go to format and increase the transparency level reduce the size of this I'm going to cut this page zoom in and make sure that it is properly aligned you can cut this so before that I'm going to make a duplicate slides you can press ctrl D or you can rise right mouse click and say duplicate so I'm going to make how many pages if you want looking for six seven pages you can go for six seven or I'm going to show you only four pages here select these two objects go to merge and say subtract so you can see this page got cut I'm going to the second slide reduce the size of this and select the rectangle and this and again subtract so this is my second page go to third reduce it further and again repeat the same exercise just say subtract and this is also more smaller and then subtract so you can see I've got four pages here but in my uh, animations I have used six but in the tutorial I'm going to show you four go to insert shapes and select a rectangle change a different color make it no outline and as well you can make it more transparent level 
I'm going to cut this part and I'm going to give some different color. That's the reason I'm going to cut this. To keep a copy of this for the other slides, we can use this one. Select this option, merge shape and just say fragment and delete the unwanted area. So you can see that it has been divided into two so the right side I'm just going to change the color you can press ctrl G to duplicate and then I'm just going to change the color of this part only now copy the same thing below again cut this format fragment and delete it and this part you can give some different color and then you can group it so here also so for this again give some nice colors And this is the last page. For this also I am going to fragment it. And maybe this color I am going to give. You can group it. Here also I forgot to group you can group it now so bring this here copy the first one and then send this to back and then I'm copying the third one control C bring it here control V and send it to back select the last page and control V and this also you can send it back so I have taken in this example uh, four pages make sure that this is properly aligned Now delete all the unwanted slides so I'm just going to keep only this so all other slides I'm just going to delete it which we don't need that and you can go and give some format shape give some shadow effect and for these pages also you can give the same shadow effect you can press F4 key to repeat it actually page names the numbers This is page 1, Control D to duplicate and bring it to page 2, page 3 and page 4 and align it properly. And then start grouping one by one first align now select the page one the text and the page press ctrl G second this one second page and press ctrl G so it becomes it comes on top just send it to back page 3 now send again to back and then group the page 4 
so we got page one two three four now I'm going to press ctrl D to duplicate and rotate this flip horizontal and bring it here you can change the shadow effect Now I'm going to duplicate this slide, select this, rotate the first page, flip horizontal and bring this here. Again change the shadow direction. Make sure it is aligned properly. Now again duplicate the slide. This is for the second page. Select the page and again rotate flip horizontal. Bring the other side. And shadow again change it. Then again duplicate the slide, do the same exercise, put the page 3 this side. So I'm going to the page 1, this is page 2, page 3 and this is page 4. Go to the page 1 and I'm just going to copy this particular uh, shape which I have taken both the sides white and in middle I have used the grey. This is just a, a normal uh, rectangle shape. It will give you some shadow effect so copy this to the other slides as well now I'm going to duplicate this slide and this one I'm going to change the rotation rotate to flip horizontal and bring it on the top so this is the main cover page and add some a title to it And I'm going to give some animation effect to it. Select this, the cover page, and we can give some animation. So first I'm going to give the animation peek in for this. Peek in from right. And with say with previous. Then I'm going to give the animation to the second slide. For this, again I'm going to use the same animation, peek in. And this also should be with previous. So if you see here when I click, it will open. 
and again it will open the second page then I'm going to give the same animation to the third page and fourth page using animation painter I'm just copying this so click first page click first page will come there second page will come and then the third page likewise you can make it four or five or how many pages and then you can close it also press ctrl D I'm just going to make a, a flap for this put it in the center and add an oval shape to it this kind of a buckle or you can say a belt this is just a nice to have if you don't need also you can ignore this step you can give some a gradient fill for this both the sides you can make it white with 100% with 0% transparency and you can change the direction you need and you can give some bevel and group it and copy to the other slides as well so in this example I just showed you four pages only but in my actual uh, demo a file I have got seven pages so let's see the title page first page comes then the second page comes then the third page comes that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye